What's up YouTube, it's your boy Ancient Prophet aka The Truth bringing you guys a DCUO video and today I'm just going to be showing you guys the basics of tanking. So pretty much as a tank you're going to always want to be holding aggro and that just means you're going to want to make it to where the enemies are attacking you and not attacking the group. So a lot of times somebody will queue into a raid and they won't really be too sure about how to tank, they'll have a loadout and they'll just start pressing powers and fighting one enemy. Meanwhile you have two ads jumping the rest of the group because the tank's not holding aggro. So pretty much just to kind of explain what a tank is and what the main role of a tank is is you are supposed to be the one with the highest defense or the highest health and you're supposed to be the one taking the most damage and taking all the damage off of your teammates. Now teammates are going to get hit. There's some things and some attacks that there's nothing a tank can do. The attack's going to hit their teammates regardless but there is a lot that a tank can do in order to prevent damage from happening to their teammates. So pretty much the main thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull, you're going to want to juggle, and you're going to want to counter. Okay, now obviously as a tank you're going to want to pop your power interactions and you're going to want to pop your heals and you're going to want to pop your shields. I'm not really going to get too much into that. I'm just going to kind of teach you guys the basic mechanics of how to tank. The main way to gain aggro is by using your main pull. In this case, Rage's main pull is Ragebringer. And then we're also going to have our juggle to juggle the adds. Each power usually has a juggle. And in Rage's case, it's without mercy. And all this is going to do is it's basically going to lift the enemies up in the air, knock them off their feet, and then they're going to fall on the ground. And then it'll take them like a half a second to get back up off the ground. I'm just going to run in the middle of the group and then just start using my main pull so that way I can get all the aggro. All right, then I might block for a second, but then I'm going to use my juggle because it's going to knock them off the ground. And then pretty much it's just rinse and repeat. So you're basically going to pull, juggle. And now I have the aggro. When the adds get up, they're going to be attacking me. And they're not going to be attacking my group mates. So again, I'll pull and I'll juggle. And then you can pretty much just rinse and repeat, pull and juggle. Now you can see that ad right there just got immunity. So now we're just going to want to lunge them and that'll block break them. So that guy had immunity and he was just spamming his ranged attack so that so we just lunged him and he fell on the ground. So again, pull and juggle. Now from here you're going to kind of want to learn how to counter. So countering is how you counter your opponent so it's just like a regular fight so there's a few ways to counter you can either block if they're spamming their melee combos or you can lunge if they're doing their range combos or you can do your range combo if they're holding block so in this case most of them are just meleeing so as you can see I'm gonna hold block and then some of them are gonna hit the ground so right there you can see that jewel thief hit the ground that just means that you counted them so if you're if you've juggled them a lot and you've pulled them a lot and they got immunity then you're going to try to look and see what weapon attack they're doing and they're going to try and counter their weapon attack so again I'll kind of pull juggle and then we'll pull juggle and we'll just kind of rinse and repeat until we see the ads gain immunity so now these two ads have immunity so now I'm going to lunge and you can see he falls on the ground so that would be a successful counter and now I'm just going to hold block and that guy got countered because I saw he was spamming his melee attack so again it's really all about pulling juggling and then once the ads gain immunity then you're going to want to worry about countering which is either hold and block and you can see that guy fell on the ground or if they're spamming their range combos like this guy then you could just lunge him and he'll fall on the ground just like that you're always going to want to tank the ads or the boss away from your group so let's say this truck is our group member right now if we're facing if the ads are facing the truck then the truck's going to get hit by AOE moves. So now what we're going to do to avoid and to prevent our teammates from getting hit by AOE moves is we're going to go on the other side and now you can see the ads are facing away from the truck. So now if the ads start using their AOE attacks, the truck's not going to get hit, which in a raid or an alert would be our teammates. So our teammates would not be getting hit. So again, if I'm over here, now if this truck's on our team, the truck can get hit by AOE attacks but now if we come over here and then get the ads to face us and attack towards us and we're turned away from the group then our our group mates cannot get hit or affected by AOEs
so yeah that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much the basics again you're just going to want to pull juggle and then once ads start gaining immunity then you're just going to want to counter them either by blocking by lunging or by using your block break so that's it hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time